Welcome to Mission Band, flute players. This is Mr. Weezar here reporting to you from my headquarters. Okay? Today I'm going to help you complete your first mission, which is to open the case and correctly assemble the flute. Okay? Step one. Make sure the brand is on the top. Make sure the handle is on the bottom half. And notice that the latches always flip up. Okay? If your case is not flipping up or the latches on the top half or you don't see a brand or a square then turn your case over to put it on its right side once you have done that you're gonna open it notice a beautiful flute there all right you're gonna start off by grabbing the middle joint and the head joint and you can grab it by putting your fingers right here all right now to put these two parts together you're going to grab where there's minimal keys. So notice I'm grabbing from up here and right here. There's no keys. The reason that you don't want to be grabbing from where the keys or the rods are is because if you, if you squeeze too hard, you could damage them. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab from up here. Do some short back and forth motions. All right. There you go. Now make sure your armature hole is aligned with these keys. So notice mine isn't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check, okay, to really line it up here, okay, now there you go, notice it is lined up with the keys, okay, next up, you're going to take your foot joint here, same thing, you're going to grab where there's not keys at all or rods, Okay, and you're gonna grab it up here. And now, slow back and forth motions. Now you're probably wondering, Mr. Weezer, shouldn't my keys align? Well, in this case, you actually want the rod to line up with the keys. Okay, there you go. And there's your armature hole, it's lined up with the keys. And there you have it. You assembled your flute. Now, if you're having trouble putting the flute together, like it just seems a little rough to put together, I actually learned this from an old friend of mine. You can take some graphite from a pencil and you can just kind of rub some graphite on there. That way it kind of comes on and off a lot smoother. All right, once you're done with that, you can disassemble. And same way, you're gonna do back, slow back and forth motions, grabbing from the part of the flute that doesn't have keys or rods, okay? Now, before you put these back in the case, of course, it's necessary and very important to be swabbing your flute. That way, there's not moisture built up inside and that can get kind of gross if you don't swab it. Okay, so to swab it, take your cloth, you're gonna put the corner of it through this stick here. Okay, not too much, and then you're going to drape it back over itself. Okay, try that again. Drape it over itself. And then you're going to twist it. So there's no part of the rod exposed, except for this. This is fine. Okay. And you'll just run it through. And then you can put it back in the case. Now, it's very important when you're putting it back in the case, that you put it back in the correct way. You might need to play around a little bit. Notice it's not going to settle in if you put it keys flat down first. And you definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so keys should always be facing up. All right. The shape of the case will conform to the, okay, of the flute. Same thing. Short back and forth movements. All right. And then you're going to swab. You can swab both sides of this one. Okay, ah, nothing like a nice dry flute. Okay, same thing. Make sure that the keys are facing up when you put it back in your case, All right? So this looks pretty good. There you go, Let's swap the head joint here. And then you put that back in. Armature hole will be facing up. Once you're done, you can take off the swab. 
Put that back in there. Fold up your swab here. Put it there. And once you know that all your pieces are back in in the correct form, you can close your case. All right. Now, congratulations on completing your first mission. I look forward to reporting to you soon.